If it is not Canadian oil sands in the U.S. refineries, it will be Venezuelan heavy oil. Yet Venezuela's oil has the same carbon footprint, while Venezuela has little of the environmental policies and the commitment that we do in Alberta to sustainable energy development. And importing oil from Venezuela does far less for the U.S. economy and for U.S. jobs than Canadian imports. Alberta does have other options besides Keystone, and I know that those are always part of the discussions that go on. We are an exporting economy. We know that we can get our product to Tidewater. We know that we can sell to customers around the world. And there are several proposals that are on the table, including moving energy west to the Pacific and east to the Atlantic via pipe, north via rail, pipes going north. And we think that this will allow us, in the very near future, to achieve an even higher level of deliverable product to the developing world. Now, I believe that from our perspective in Alberta, and as Canadians, that this will prove vital to a growing global strategy that will allow for the developing world to get access to the resources that we produce. We know, we know that the world is thirsty for our energy. Whether it's China or India, our trading relationships and the investment is growing all the time. But it's Keystone that offers the U.S. the most direct and the most tangible rewards.